This is the folklore behind the Singapore stone. In ancient Singapore, there lived an ordinary villager named Badam. After a hard day's work, he found that all the fish in the river traps were eaten. The culprit was none other than the hantu or spectre. Badam courageously cast the fishing line and trapped the hantu. Bound and unable to escape, the hantu begged for his freedom. Badang agreed, but only on the condition that the hantu granted him great strength so that he could help his fellow villagers. With his newfound strength, Badang helped the villagers. He built their houses. Courageously protected the villagers from wild animals. And even dug fresh water wells. Everyone loved Badang. He was an inspiration to all. News of Badang's feats reached the ears of the ruler of ancient Singapore. The king had a large ship, but even with the combined might of all his soldiers, could not be launched. The king needed a man of great strength. the rock and threw it across a great distance where it landed at the mouth of the Singapore River. This rock was later blown to pieces in 1843. A fragment known as the Singapore Stone now sits in the National Museum of Singapore. Incredible animation of the intensely strong legendary folk hero Badang. You can read about him in the Sejarah Malayu or the Malay Annals. Such a futuristic presentation there of a legend. Long, long, long time ago, according to the Malay Annals, there were kings and queens in our kingdom of Singapore. Hey, I'm sure you are familiar with the story of Sang Nila Utama, right? Yeah! yeah. Mm, but I am going to tell you a lesser known legend about this strong man named Badang! Badang was once an ordinary villager in the kingdom of Singapore until he bravely challenged a hantu who gave him great strength. With his newfound strength, 
Badang helped his fellow villagers. He built their houses, dug fresh water wells, and courageously protected the people from wild animals. Everyone loved Badang. He was an inspiration to all, and the kingdom grew stronger. Badang's reputation soon traveled far and wide. The strongest men from all over the region wanted to challenge Badang to a contest of strength and resilience. The first challengers entered the ring, hoping to defeat Badang so that they too may be hailed as heroes. as the wind, they wielded the hardy bamboo poles with speed and agility, wanting to break down Badang's formidable strength. The challengers all came together, wanting to pin Badang down. But Badang fended off the challengers. They just could not break his extraordinary strength. were quickly followed by more formidable opponents. When the second set of challengers brought their shields together, they formed impenetrable walls. Their shields, forged from meteoric iron, were even stronger than diamonds. They could trap the smallest flies and crush the biggest elephants with ease. And Badang had to fend off these very strong challengers with impenetrable shields. was not only strong, he was agile. He did not just put his strength on strength, but his agility allowed him to swiftly dance around the challengers. And in the final test of endurance, Badang's strength persevered against the challengers. stormed into the ring, all fired up and ready to pounce on Badang.
They possessed more fury than dragon spitting hellfire. Any opponent torched by their fiery venom would be in the throes of agony. But nothing had prepared them for Badang, who was the fiercest warrior around. Everyone's dreams, reputation and honour was at stake. A defeat was not an option for anyone. With no hope of winning the duel on their own, all three parties combined forces and lurched at Badang, hoping to wear him down with their collective strength, speed and cunning. It was all or nothing. In one desperate move, they charged towards Badang, hoping to defeat him together. Oh no, Grandpa! Is he dead? giant boulder with his bare hands and flung it towards his challengers, sending them fleeing from the falling rocks. One broken piece of the boulder landed up in the Singapore River. For many years thereafter, the stone protected our waters until it was blown to pieces in 1843. We discovered ancient inscriptions on the stone. What the inscriptions meant, nobody could be sure. But what is certain is that our Singapore story has a history far older and longer than we know. And this stone with the inscriptions is now known to us as the Singapore Stone and sits inside our National Museum today. Behind this legend of Badang and the Singapore Stone is the story of strength, agility and resilience. And this is the story that inspired me to write you this letter. A stunning retelling of the legend of Badang and the legend surrounding a prize artifact here in Singapore, one of our 11 national treasures, the Singapore Stone.